No. And now it's time to go over to our country correspondent, Mr. Two Stroke Terry McHugh. Some say he's the love child of Jerry Adams and Iris Robinson. Some say he's been held hostage for a ransom that I won't pay. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, we call you. Thank you, Jake. A man turned up in Ireland this week and he made an announcement and it had cultures up and down the land polishing off their brown shoes and getting on their boot cut jeans and thanking their Lord and Saviour. Because you see, if Culture's had a religion, it would be country and western music. And that would make Garth Brooks the Culture Pope. Yeah, Garth Brooks turned up at Crow Park. He announced he's going to be playing up to five shows in Crow Park in September of next year. There is only European dates. So trust me, I'm telling you, when the tickets go on sale, the streets of Tyrone will be emptier than they were at the height of lockdown. Okay, now I'm worried about this because I, I, I live in the middle of nowhere, right? I live in Culture Land, but I managed to get myself some of the fastest internet in Ireland. And people know I have very fast internet, right? And there's a lot of people around here who have no internet. And I just have this horrible feeling of when, when tickets go on sale that morning, I'm gonna look out the door and it's gonna be like something from The Walking Dead, just a bunch of culture standing there going, Internet, tickets, Garth Brooks. <laughs> Garth turned up, Crow Park, here he is. I thought it was lovely of him to turn up wearing a Tyrone uniform. Uh, there you go, classic Tyrone uniform, brown shoes, jeans, wool jacket, cowboy hat. Yep, you see loads of them around here dressed like that. And uh, Garth, he was talking about how much he loves playing Ireland, and he came out with this jam. Yeah. So from a dive bar to a field to a stadium, I think you're still going to get that only in Ireland love kind of feel thing. Even if you play a dive bar in Ireland, you get that Irish love. Garth, I paid my dues round Northern Ireland and the South playing in some of the roughest pubs I have ever set foot in. Uh, trust me, when someone starts shouting at me, get off stage, you long-haired, skinny... Uh, I wasn't sitting there going, ah, oh, well, at least it's in Ireland. <laughs> and then the other thing he done, which I did not see coming, I don't think anybody seen coming, was he announced that he has moved in with uh, Jerry Adams. Uh, easily, I bet you we have 50 or 60 Irish flags at the house. Cause... Of course, I had to ask a local culture what they thought about the news. So, you excited about the news? Mr. Brooks, are you in Crook Park? It would be great to see Garth. Earl Gareth and Crow Park, I'd be very excited. I know it's Garth. No, no, it's Garth. Garth Brooks. Earl I don't know, no, no, it's Garth. I have a cousin called Garth. Uh, Gar well, Gar well, Garth, well, where, where do we find these people? Gar Garth McDonald, call him. Thank you very much, Francie. Uh, more for him, more from him as the weeks go on. Uh, and that's me, uh, back to you, Jake. I know what he was at, but that, that makes me nervous. That, that just makes me nervous. I'll tell you. Everything, everything.